Hi, I'm Debbie Doniger, Director of Instruction at Glen Arbor Golf Club in Bedford, New York, and I'm also a PXG National Staff Member. I'm here at PXG Headquarters. We're inside the bay, and today we're gonna, I'm going to give you a tip on controlling dynamic lofted impact. Why should you control the loft with your golf clubs at impact? Because coupled with the proper attack angle and a nice path-face relationship and center contact, you will hit the ball further. Keeping all of that in mind and trying to keep it as simple as possible, what we've done here is put a string up in the bay and all you have to do is try and hit the ball under the string. And the only way to do that is to take loft off of the club at impact. So I'll start with the eight iron. I like to do this drill with the wedge and then skip clubs eight, four, six. You could do nine, seven, five. And you should also do it with very small swings because in the small swings, you can actually control and feel the ball stay low and under the string. At setup, to help you do this, you could play the ball in the middle. It doesn't matter as you advance, it's nice to move the ball around, but put a little more pressure in your lead leg and you can lean the shaft a little more forward. But again, the goal is to take loft off of the club and control the attack angle mainly. So you have a nice visual, you just take a nice little half swing and all you're trying to do is keep the ball down and under the string. The opposite would be if somebody was trying to lift or help the ball in the air and adding a ton of loft, and then that wouldn't work. You wouldn't be able to hit it above. You would hit it above the string. You wouldn't be able to keep it down.